Hey guys, Game Sandwich here. So um, I'm going to do a profile that's not going to probably make a lot of people happy. So pretty much uh, me and my friend went to locals on the weekend. And I showed up with my deck and I was like, we made a deal that if he, if he got Tactical Masters, I'd bring a lot of spare, my spares. What, if he pulled pretty much a Runic Core, I'd kind of play Runic for the day. Um, I made a lot of people not very happy. So I'm going to show you the deck I ran. Uh, there is a few changes because... Um, we didn't open like optimally, so uh, this is the the build I've got now is roughly what I traded for. So I haven't put any money towards this. This is just done via trade, so it's done really nicely. So we play free card card day because you literally just want to draw cards. So it's fine. Uh, one morphing jar, one electromagnetic cell. Uh, we just want to end the battle phase. Uh, one of this little guy. It was just funny because it was it came up a couple of times. It was relevant. Um, so the idea of theory with this one was because it protects my life points and against things like uh, Dynamorphia it still can go off, so that was uh, kind of funny. So, right, for the spells, and there is a lot of them. So we'll go with your power one else, we'll go one card of Demise because you want to draw cards, one Instant Fusion because it gets your fusions, one way to a piece, uh, yeah, no, no battle damage and gaining a card is good. Um, free Duality, uh, just finish your deck. Uh, the deck is 41, if I remember correctly. Uh, two uh, Soul Absorption, just because anytime you banish, you gain life points, so yeah, you're not going to die. Um, okay, so this is where the change comes. Uh, in the original, I was only running one Fountain, because unfortunately, the so the one we pulled was the Collector's Rare, which was really nice. So I felt like I was running it more often than I should do, but yeah, I've got, I traded for a second, but I'll show you what like I ran instead, unfortunately. So yeah, one Fountain was not good, but you know, I made it work. Uh, to Allure, because Allure is just your extra chain on, it's an extra mill. Uh, one tip, I only got one, kind of sucks, uh, I've still got to pick up another two, so that's kind of annoying considering the price of these is really high, so yeah. Um, free Curse, because it just it's basically a neg on your opponent's monster effect, you kind of need it, so. Uh, free Droplet, because, you know. It's really, really nice. I personally think this one's really good, um, just because the utility is like, yeah, okay, it gives your opponent like an extra card, but it's like if you play one day a piece, it doesn't matter. Uh, free destruction, it's basically MST, but you make your opponent banish four. So it's kind of like the theory is with this. Even though there's a lot, a lot of people setting cards, they do the because you can go into your fusions anyway. It's just more live. Uh, we've got free flash. Um, yeah, negating, yeah, target one's pen of special monster and destroy it's just really good, so. Uh, free Slumber, this was the one that I kind of, I kind of didn't have. I had, say, one of this, which, uh, sorry, I had two of this and I had, uh, so I had to play someone else, so it was kind of like, at the time I only had two, but yeah, negating uh, an attack is very, very useful, so. Uh... Free storming, so free of the smiting. Smiting is one of those cards that's really good and it's really bad. It 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 has potential. It's like you're playing against something that has like Eldritch that has like a massive load of back row. You're literally going to fire this off, and it's just going to be bad for him. So, yeah, that's always funny. Um, one dispelling. I technically ran three of this, which I wasn't too happy about. Uh, it just unfortunately was a filler slot, and yeah, it's. Again, one of those, it's just a filler slot card, but it's still decent, uh, it just gets you access to your fusions. And then we only run three trap cards, at least for trap cards, we run our, we want to draw cards. Uh, I know it's slow, but in theory, they, they mostly negate something else, they will not negate this. So that was the theory behind it anyway. Okay, so we'll go with, so... When we actually opened up the packs, I only pulled one of these, so I traded for a second one later on, so you only need two. Uh, so this is the one that says when you fusion summon it, you get to um, discard a card to add your field spell. It's really good, you need that. Um, the other good one is that if cards you control will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card instead. Again, useful. Uh, free wings, I only... What's any... Sorry, free... Minin... Um, Again, I only ran two because I only pulled two, so it was just like, it was really funny kind of like playing this and going, okay, I've got to kind of try and work around stuff. It was really funny though, so. 
And the 2000 booty really comes in clutch, just because you can stop certain things from happening. Um, the quick effect negation is really nice on destruction effects, so that really came in useful a few times. Especially with something like um, Dragoon coming around, so that was really useful. So yeah, this was really, really not good. Um, you didn't really use its activate effect much, it's just because it was a wall. And luckily we did pull three uh, fangs, uh, jury, just because, again, it just adds your field spell if it's destroyed, and it can't be destroyed by card effects, which again, is really, really solid. So, um, its effect to destroy a card in the field is awesome. Now, the last cards we have are kind of filler slots. So we have a Battle Nitro Trick, which you can make off, um, what's it called? Then we can make off uh, Instant Fusion. Uh, Link Rebo because of this, and then also if um, Predapan counters get put on your monsters, you can use it again. Uh, Phoenix, because it kind of blows up problem cards. Cowboy, um, you do have access to it. It's kind of odd. You can actually make it if you need to go for game. So the idea is you can uh, summon this, and then you can electric magnetic tool and you just overlay into this and then burn them for game. So it doesn't happen often, but it's still useful. Uh, Castell again for the same principle. And Stardust. So that's the generic tat. Let's go for the side deck. Um, I, did, I kind of just threw this together. I was like, as soon as I pulled most of the stuff, like time was called to stop the round. So I kind of had to build my deck quick. So I just decided on terraforming. Uh, sister. Two Santa Claus, because it's a uh, Kaiju and it's not all hard ones to pretend, so it gives you opponent cards. Triple Tactics, Eater of Millions, I found a Rainbow Life, a Balanced Judgment and a Transmigration Prophecy. Um, probably would trade a couple of bits here and there out. Um, this is good. This is good. This is bad. <laughs> Triple T's are so bad in this deck, it doesn't make sense, but yep, that's what I'll go with. But yeah, that's the deck. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I do apologise um, profusely because probably some of you guys are playing online and I'm not always the most social, especially when I'm usually testing. So it's after work and I'm half asleep. So I'm playing a deck I'm trying to autopilot, it, which does not work with this deck at all. But it was fun to play. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it was fun. It really adds pressure to an opponent's play. It's... A deck that forces you. It's not like mine. Mine is very non interactive. It's like, do you have the out? No. Okay, you may as well go game two. This you can play, this you can grind. It reminds me very much of Fanar Countdown and that kind of build. Like, it puts pressure on your opponent, but a good, good opponent will rise to the pressure and just go, okay, I'm going to play this. Um, yeah, I'm still playing Ice Trade. Uh, I've retweaked the deck. I'm going to upload that soon. Hopefully you guys like the video. I'm probably reckon I'm going to get a shit ton of hate for this video. So, okay. See you guys later. Thank you.